Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to show you that how we can do reconnaissance more effectively when we have a large number of scope in our bug bounty or lar large number of assets like domains and subdomains which is in our scope. So we're going to see and we're going to use a tool which can be you know used to effectively find contents when we have you know let's say uh, 100 or 200 of uh, you know domains or subdomains so let's see how we can do that but before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video then go ahead and check it out the link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen and now with that being said let us get started so now let me show you the tool which i was talking about so the tool name is meg meg and let me show you what it can do and how we can use this in our you know penetration testing or bug bounty hunting the first thing that we can do is uh, let's go to the github repositories and don't worry this link of the particular repository is given in the description so you can just directly click on the link and you will be like you know straight away you'll go to the uh, repository so type meg space github if you're following me and then you will see this very first link from Tom Nom Nom, amazing hacker. So let's click on this very first link over here. And then let's try to understand how it works, right? And what this tool is all about. So simply you can see it says that Meg is a tool for fetching a lot of URLs, but still being nice to the server. Now let's try to understand this. Normally when we're doing content discovery, what happens is we send a lot of requests to a single server, you know, within a short uh, span of time. Now that is an actual issue for the server. Why? Because the server is also, you know, uh, like handling all the legitimate user as well as us, the penetration tester or bug bounty hunters, right? So this can sometimes, you know, accidentally leads to denial of service attacks or DOS attacks, which can be very dangerous. And to prevent this, the uh, many applications uses, you know, CDN to, you know, block uh, multiple requests getting sent at the same time. So it is also possible that your IP will get blocked if you're doing content discovery. And I think a lot of you people may have faced this kind of issue when you are doing a lot, uh, you know, using content discovery, using F4 for any other tool with any other word list. Uh, after some requests, you'll get blocked for, let's say, uh, one hour or maybe your IP will get blocked for 24 hours, right? So this is a common issue. To prevent that, we are going to use this tool, which is Meg. So what it's going to do is, let's say we have uh, uh, 10 subdomains, okay? So now what this tool is going to do is, it's going to send each request to each one of those URLs, okay? For example, let me give you a very simple example. Like let's say we have three targets over here, okay? Okay, so we have these three targets. So what this tool is going to do is, and let's say we have a word list containing this these words, okay? Robots. Uh, dot txt test and add just for the demonstration okay so this tool is going to send first word with each one of this url one by one okay the first is going to send request to test.bpractical.tech slash robots.txt this is going to send request to best.bpractical.tech slash robots.txt so basically it's taking one word from the word list and it's going to send it on all the urls or on all the targets that we have given now using this way the load on a particular server is you know reduced quite a lot right because we are sending one request at a time to multiple servers to multiple targets right and this is a very efficient technique if you ask me because this technique will first of all it will not give a lot of load to the server Second thing is that let's say you quickly want to find something interesting. Maybe you have a specific, uh, you know, word, let's say uh, admin.zip or uh, let's say error.log file, something like that, which you want to, you know, quickly discover on a bunch of target, right? So you can simply use this tool and this will help you to get an overall idea of all the targets that you have, right? So this is, you know, the main reason of why we're going to use Meg into our bug bounty methodology or even when penetration testing. Okay, so I hope you have understood this. Now, let us go ahead and install this tool into our machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to copy this and then let me just go to my VPS. So we are at our VPS right over here. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to clone it. So get clone, let's paste this out. And you can clearly see we have successfully cloned the tool. Let's go inside the directory. Uh, you can see we have all these files over here. And one more thing is that you should have Golang installed into your machine. Okay, so now you can see we have this main.go file. So I'm going to build this file. So let's type go build main.go. 
hit enter and now it's going to compile the file for us and it will give you the executable file okay okay so we've got some issues over here go build min dot go let me try to quickly resolve it and then i will get back to you okay so i think we've got this issue right over here so what we can do is to fix this issue we can simply go ahead and use this command that is given to us let's copy this command and now let's paste it into our console control plus shift plus v hit enter and this is going to download all the you know necessary packages which are undefined over here and then it will compile the file you can see it has been completed let's go to the home directory let's go inside go then go to the bin directory and here we have a file which is made now the last thing which we want to do is we want to move this into the bin directory so that we can access it from anywhere right let's quickly go and move this sudo move meg to bin and as you can see the file has been moved and if we have done everything correctly without any issues then we should be able to uh, you know just type meg over here and it should us give it should give us some you know information okay so you can see it has given us an information that failed to open paths file now this indicates that meg has been successfully installed into our machine fine now let us go ahead and see that how we can use this tool into our machine so now let us go ahead and see that how we can use this tool which is meg right so if you go to the github repository itself you'll find that there is a lot of examples given on how we can use this tool so one of the best example is over here like we can use meg then we can provide the list of uh, targets in the host.txt file then we can specify the path and then if you want you can you know uh, provide your own custom output file name otherwise by default it's going to save the output as uh, dot out you can see it right over here right so now let us go ahead and see that how we can use this tool practically for that first what i'm going to do is i'm going to enumerate some subdomains of sony.com then we're going to filter out all the valid uh, http and https web applications and then we'll see that how we can use make and that right so let's do all those things really quick Okay, so this command is going to enumerate all the subdomains and then we're going to filter out all the valid HTTP application, right? Let's hit enter. Let's wait for a few seconds now. And once we have, uh, let's say 10 or 20 subdomains for which we have live applications, then we're going to stop the process because Sony have around 7,000 plus subdomains, right? You can see it has 7,919, right? So let's wait for it to filter out few uh, HTTP applications, okay? Let's wait and now I'm going to stop this. Let's do control plus C. And if you see, we'll have this http.txt file. Let me clear it out. And if I type http.txt, we have all these applications right over here. Now let us assume that uh, we are hunting on sony.com or we're trying to enumerate contents on sony.com, right? So what we can do is, uh, for example, let's say we, we know some of the common files that are, you know, uh, commonly uh, we can say occur in a lot of web application. So what we can do is we can create a word list around that. Like let me create one. Okay. Word dot text. And I'm going to add few words in it. Like some of the common words are robots. Dot text. Sorry. Text. Let's say I want to look into the admin directory, whether one of these contain contains any admin endpoint or not. Maybe I can go with uh, some of the common, you know, files like XML or PC to detect if it is present or maybe is there any WordPress application, pc.php. Maybe we can go and type index, maybe index.php, right? You can also use any word list that you want, right? And this is just for an example, okay? And let's try with uh, index.aspx or let's look for files like web.config, okay? Config, just for this example. I'm going to close this now and let's save this file now we are good to go okay the last thing that we need to do is we need to run meg on all of this host as well as uh, using this word list file that we have created okay let's go ahead and type meg specify the word list and then specify the host which is http.txt and simply we can just hit enter like this and you can see behind the scene meg has started its own process right so for every word it's going to send request to all of these endpoints and if there are any endpoints that are having 
you know valid response code going to save it into the output right we're also going to analyze the output as well let's wait for a few seconds and then let's try to see what is the output that we're going to get okay so as you can see the process has been completed it took around five to ten seconds right and the process is now completed what we can do now is we can simply clear the terminal like this and if you go inside the out directory cd out and if i type ls you will see we have data to all of the subdomains right and if you want to see the broader result you can simply uh, you know uh, fetch the index file so you'll see all the data available for all of these subdomains if you want to look into a specific subdomain you can also like go inside one of these directories and look for it for example i'm just going to look overall uh, results that we have found and you can see this is what we have found so far so let's take a look at this one so you can see for this one uh, web.config we have got 200 okay so maybe this might be interesting even i don't know that let's copy this let's open this in new tab and okay we didn't got anything but still it is uh, i believe it is responding with 200 okay right no issues let's try to check some other urls right uh 200 okay what we can also do is we can do something like as you can see over here we have 200 okay so i'm simply going to copy this right just control plus shift plus c and let us paste this in the browser here and you can see we've got some application so this confirms that this application is having a, a .NET uh, technology right they're using .NET technology right similarly let's say that i want to look for all the applications which are giving the response or the status code 200 okay so i can simply do a grep and i can type 200 like this hit enter and these are all the results for which we've got 200 right and you can clearly see we've got a lot of results actually right so like index.hp index.php let's open this one okay so you can clearly see we've got nothing but i believe it is responding with 200 okay let's uh, monitor this and you can see this uh, status code is 200 okay right so maybe we can dive deep into it i don't know but this is how you can use mech right i hope you all have understood this for example you can see over here uh, for robots.txt we also got uh, 200 okay right so we can also try to open one of these let's try to open this i'm going to open this right here let's try to continue and yeah you can see we also have ms search maybe this uh, might reveal some more vulnerabilities but the idea is that this is how you can uh, use meg effectively when you have large number of target without giving too much stress to a particular server right and to be honest if you ask me you can use this methodology when you want to look for a particular file in a bunch of target right so yeah go ahead and use this tool and i'm pretty sure that if you will able to use this tool effectively with your own methodology you will be able to achieve great things right Apart from that, if you have any doubts, if you have any issues, feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section. Also, do join our Telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development. And now, with that being said, keep learning, keep hacking and thank you so much for watching.